Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you. Ya. <laughs> oh, that was a little syncopation there. Coming <laughs> at you. Anyway. So, um, <laughs> actually, to before we really start the video, but it will actually go right into the video. Um, we just want to let everyone know we're out of time where we do have um, some needs that are pressing. And so we need some financial um, support right now. So if you are able, we would For really... For those of you who get it. Yeah, we okay. really, we really appreciate <laughs> everyone who gives. But um, oh, if yes. you are able at this time to um, contribute to us, that would just be amazing. And there is a PayPal link below, and um, well, we would just every one of you guys so appreciate it. Whether you give or don't give, yeah, but please give. Yeah, and any amount <laughs> is fantastic. So um, we just, we just know that. Um, Part of where God has us is that we have to come and we ask. And and honestly, that's really what today's video is kind of about, Ooh. of just what God has been doing. That um, seventh dip yeah. in the Jordan, man. It's just complete and total humility. Yeah. And did I, am I stealing your thunder enough? Yes. Can I steal some more? No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's so, oh, um, working on my heart, man. Yeah, so really, honestly, if you saw our last video, we were talking about how we were really in just seven, seven cycles. cycles of seven weeks. And um, it's really kind of the a little over midway of this um, seventh cycle. And, and I that, just find that started it... started when we got, came to Nashville. Yeah. Just in case no one saw the video. Yeah. Um, and so... It's funny because even the other night, I was just like, you know, I wonder if God's showing this to us, one, because he wants to, but two, to kind of prepare us <laughs> to be ready for, hey, it's going to get really difficult and really hard, but you need to know this so that you can go through it. And um, so let's just say today has been a very difficult day um, for myself personally. Um, and uh, I'm right there with you. <laughs> and so it's just like, wow, we this are got, in the same boat. Got so. ramped up. <laughs> um, but honestly, before all that happened, um, God was just showing and revealing himself. And last night we were watching um, super book clips about the story of Naaman and mm -hmm. how he was a um, a uh, commander of the army of I think, I think it was, it was Syria, the king right? of Syria <clears throat> yeah yeah king of Syria and um, basically he was an amazing you know God it actually says that the Lord had given him victory um, had given victory to Syria and and he was a mighty man of valor but he was also a leper and so um, he was just covered in leprosy and one of the servant girls that was captured um, in the battle she was um, talking to um, Naaman's wife and was saying well you know if you could go to the prophet like I think he, he probably he could get healed and and so Naaman goes to the king and it says hey if I can go to the prophet and get healed like this would be amazing and so they send gifts over to the king of Israel who then is just like what am I supposed to do with you um, I'm, I'm not God I can't do this um, and then um, Elisha um, says, hey, send him to me. And so Naaman goes to him. And then it says that, so Naaman, I'll actually go ahead and just read it. This comes from 2 Kings chapter 5, and it's verse 9. It said, so Naaman came with his horses and chariot, chariots and stopped at Elisha's door. Elisha sent a messenger to him saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored, and you shall be clean. But Naaman was angry, and went away and said, Behold, I thought he would surely come out to me, and stand, and call on the name of the Lord his God, and wave his hand over the place, and heal the leper. Are not Abana and Par, Far, Far, Par, whatever that is. <laughs> the rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. 
in a rage. He was. I mean, he was angry. Super angry. And his <laughs> servants came near him, oh, near, and said to him, My father, if the prophet had bid you to do some great thing, would you not have done it? How much rather than when he says you should, uh, says to wash and be clean? Then he went down and dipped himself seven times in the Jordan, as the man of God had said, and his flesh was restored like that of a little child, and he was clean. And then we'll, we'll read some more after that. But So we, we watched this, and um, it was just very clear, like, Naaman, he was, he was very upset with the word from the prophet, and, and it was like, well, it's pretty simple. You just go to the Jordan, you dip seven times, you'll be healed, you'll be clean. Mm -hmm. But for him, it was just, it was really a humbling thing because, you know, he was, he was important in his, his world and his society. And it was just like, I thought you were going to work this way. Why are you working this other way? And mm -hmm. for me, it just really hit this morning. We were talking about just like, all right, we're going to have to make sure we, we really make it known like that the needs that we have are like right in front of us. And I was just like, man, I really don't like having to ask. I just don't like it. And, and God, oh, go ahead, go ahead. And, and God just kind of really showed me that, you know, <laughs> You know, brought the two together of just like, well, if I had asked you to do something more difficult, you know, <laughs> would you do it? And it's like, well, yeah, definitely. We would totally do that. So why not just do the simple thing? Because that's how I'm providing for you. That's what I've asked you to do. Because in my mind, I'm kind of, you know, like Naaman, it's like, well, Lord, if you brought us here, shouldn't you just, you should be sending the ravens without us asking, or you should be doing some sort of miraculous thing where, you know, we get a knock on the door and there's just money. And, you know, like that's the kind of, you know. Some guy shows, shows up in up. a red suit and black boots. He's kind of hefty he likes milk and cookies you know something like that it's like i've got everything for you <laughs> he's got a bag of money just on his here you yeah. go it's from the lord <laughs> yeah but it's just and and so it was just like no oh this is God. how i have you doing things now and and this has really honestly been a process since before we oh moved gosh. in kansas city yeah. um and so this morning it, i really wasn't thinking of like the santa claus kind of thing but it really was still just that oh like inside I, I felt like man i just i don't like this i don't i wish we didn't have to but when god showed what he was doing and what he's been doing it's like well that's actually what god's asked us to do so i will we will do it gratefully mm -hmm. you know like all right lord you've asked us to ask so that's what we're gonna do and it's like this is how you've you're providing for yeah. us. Can I? Yeah. Yeah, because see, I was the funny thing is I was already in that place with the Lord before you even woke up. You know, because I'm waking up and I'm just going, oh man, you know. Because of the way the money works out, like they take pre authorizations out of our account because we don't have a credit card, we just have a debit card. So it holds up the entire amount of money that it takes to stay here. It's almost like and so we don't have that money for like five days. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, and then it comes out and then we keep having to redo it. <laughs> and we're always living on the edge, you know, except for September 19th. That was amazing. Yeah. I mean, and again, that was another situation where we asked and then there was like great provision that came in. And it was just like, but for me, I was like, I'm like, Lord, I really don't like asking. Because for me, as the leader of the family and the husband and all those things, it hits me in a different way, it's just, but at the same time, it's just like, I really don't want to. It's like, isn't there something? I mean, look at all this stuff, cool stuff you're doing in your li our lives and the revelations you're giving us and all that. And it's like, and God's like, yeah, but you haven't finished the marathon. You haven't broken the tape yet. So what do you have to do? You just have to keep running. And that means you got to keep doing the things that you do. And that means periodically you're going to have to make your needs known. You know, I can't just... I, and it's like, I appreciate that you asked me first. That That is proper. I'm never going to rebuke you for that, ever. Mm -hmm. You've got to ask me first. But then I, and you asking me, I'm going to give you 
the answer. And you're going, oh, no, I don't want that. Lord, can't you just ask me to go clean, get clean in the, the paradise rivers of Damascus? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like this Jordan dipping thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and so it's like every time we have to ask for money, it is, it is a dip in the Jordan. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's just like we're dipping in the Jordan. It's like, and the thing, why was the Jordan such a raging thing? Because it was a dirty river. It was like, it's like, basically, it's like, go dip in ghetto river. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know how to, to explain it. Just in, 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 go, just go. It's a, it's a humility thing. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like the Lord was like, you're going to have to do what you have to do, man. And then I'm like, well, Lord, all the people that like, are complaining about us and and say that we're beggars and we're asking people for money all the time. I, I'm gonna have to deal with all that mess too. You know who we are and what we've called to do. We, you know our relationship and all that. But that kind of issues with the comments and people and that's gonna deal with me. You know I don't like it. And God's like, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like and uh, what? Do you, so what are you gonna do? You know, you still have to do, because what does it boil down to? It boils down to doing what God asks you to do. Mm -hmm. And it's like, all right, I, and that's what it is. All right, I'm going to do this because you asked me to do it. And that's that's the bottom line. And But in being obedient to the Lord and doing what he's asking you to do, oh, it just, it wrenches the humility into you. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, well, obviously I got some pride issues going on in there. I really do. And I've got some, I got some false ideas about, who I am and my position and my role and all that. Not not that my position and my role in the family is not what it is. It's just how God will provide and how we'll lead and all that stuff. And it's just like he's going to do what he's going to do as a father. And he brings mechanisms like this, the whole PayPal thing for us. He's like, it's just more, it's so much more than just PayPal and provision. Mm -hmm. I am doing some work in your life through that that's going to just, it's going to, set you up on a trajectory of eternal humility where you will always walk in humility whether you're in lack or whether you're in abundance because the trick is oh i've got money now i'm good and it's like ah uh, let's let we need to work that out of you yeah you know so yeah so and it's funny that we both end up being in the same place on the same day but not really because yeah. god does that all the time but yeah and then we were also talking about how it's like you really have to see it as not as your your beggars putting out your mat right but that we're sons and daughters and this is what the lord has asked us to do right and and so it's like wow you're just coming from a completely different place and but dang it deals with me it, it really it does deal it, it with me man i'm like can't you heart. do anything else can't we go to a different river to be washed and be clean <laughs> and it's like it's but like, it's like you know for naaman it's like well like his servants were saying like well you know, basically, he's basically given you the remedy. Like, you can be clean. Just go and do it. And, you know, and he humbles himself and goes. And then it was like, what's the re his response after, like, the Lord heals him? And it's just so awesome because, he, you know, his, he's completely restored. And then it says, then Naaman returned to the man of God. He, he and all his company and stood before him he said behold now i know that there is no god in all the earth but in israel and then he offers him a gift and elijah is like no i'm not going to take any gift but then um and then he um the naaman just asks for he said um the naaman said then i pray you let there be given to me your servant two mules burden of earth he basically just wanted some dirt <laughs> yeah for your servant <clears throat> will henceforth offer neither burnt offering nor sacrifice to other gods but only to the lord and um and so it was just like that's just i mean that was like the effect like you know it took the humility for him to go in and dip in the jordan but then afterwards, and you were talking about this later, of just oh how gosh. it's like it produced even more humility sure. of like, wow, this is the Lord. And so now I'm not going, I'm no longer going to serve the God that I've, he's probably, he was raised to serve. Yeah. Um, and then I will just serve the Lord. And um, it was just 
that was a really cool part of the story as well. Yeah, and how do you feel like that touches on what we're, like what God's been doing with us today? It's almost like, it's like, it's like what I was talking about, or I talked about earlier about, yeah, he humbled himself and he went into the river and he did dip seven times, but there was a part of his heart that was probably hard mm -hmm. and like resistant and like, man, I don't want to be doing this, you know, but when he was healed of his leprosy, he was like, I will do anything you ask me to do. Yeah. Like, you're amazing. Like, you're you're awesome. You know? Or it's like with Peter. Hey, you guys have been, you guys have been, uh, uh, or with Peter, when Jesus asked him, hey, let's cast out again, you know? And Peter's like, but Lord. Now, you see, you know, first off, you know you got some heart issues if you're saying, but Lord. Okay, first off, it's like, but Lord, we, we've been toiling all night and we've been toiling and you you want us to do this? It's like, oh man, it's like, all right, I will. And there could be, and obviously there was a measure, like you were saying, there was a measure of humility there. Mm -hmm. There was a measure of humility. That's my whole point. There is a measure of humility. And then he goes out and then in come all these fish and it's like the the humility just turns into a nuclear mushroom cloud. And it's like so much so that Peter didn't even want to be in his presence. He mm -hmm. was like, go away from me, Lord. Wow, I see you now. Mm -hmm. It's like Naaman, oh, can you, can't, oh, Naaman only saw himself mm -hmm. and his issues. But then he got healed and he saw the Lord. Yeah. Peter only saw himself and how much he had been toiling and his issues and the fact that they hadn't caught anything <laughs> and then he saw the lord mm. you see so a lot of times with with us particularly us in our situation where we are being obedient to the lord we have thrown it at we've thrown everything out there for the lord um but it's like in that he's working on our hearts, just like he does every believer mm -hmm. um, who comes to him. And he's fashioning us and he's forming us and he sees some things. It's just like, oh, we need to need that out of there. We need to get that out of there. So you you know how it is. Do, do I need to say anything? Do I need to say anything? <laughs> so like I was saying, <laughs> there is a measure of humility in the fact that we've given everything to obey the Lord and follow him in just a reckless abandon mm -hmm. you know but it's like we've always seen our financial situation even before we moved and got into this arc and we started the whole seven cycles of seven weeks and all that we're just like man we've been we've suffered from a financial leprosy for a long time now listen naaman was the commander of the army of syria he had prestige he had money he had power he had he had everything he was literally second in command. If the king died, he would become king. Temporarily, even if he's just interim king. So it's like he didn't need money, but he had a thing he needed. Yeah. And he had a thing that he wanted badly. You know, and it's like us. I feel like we have got, we have got like a spiritual resume. You know, we've got like, we've got things that we've seen, things that we've done, places we've gone and things that God's done in our life and all that. But it's like the one thing we don't have is money mm -hmm. you know we don't have and then god leads us into this lifestyle of having to depend on others for money so it's like so it's like there's this measure of humility this measure of humility that we have going into this but it's like for us that lack has always been compared to as like a leprosy yeah haven't we always said always, that yeah we've always and it's like like that's what it's like for us and it's like Lord like like the 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 man who said Lord have mercy on me you can heal me if you want to I can be made clean if you're willing and the Lord was like I am willing be made clean mm -hmm. and the Lord took us through a man a whole season of that yeah he was like I am willing you will be made clean and all mm -hmm. that and I'm like yay and then a week later I'm going Where, where's my cleansing I'm not clean Lord I'm, I'm still broke you know what I'm saying? what's up yeah. <laughs> And then, and then Lana Vosser came out with that word about health and finances and God roaring over it and everything. I'm like, yay, you know? And then so it's like, I believe, this is my own personal belief. It's like, we are like Naaman and 
Peter mm -hmm. in the sense of we're doing everything that the Lord has asked us it doesn't matter I mean l listen you you have gone through some stuff <laughs> <laughs> you have gone through some emotional pain mm -hmm. but you have continued to come yeah. you know you've gone through that Hannah pain you've gone through you've even had a little bit of Nam and rage from time to time like Lord what are you doing why are we doing that? I am uh, all right I'll do it you know <laughs> and in that it's like God's I believe God's saying like there is a measure of humility that we all have in following the Lord in whatever he's asking us to do because it doesn't always have to be some crazy unconventional weird off the wall thing it can be something normal and mundane and relatively simple like yeah. master just go and wash seven times in the Jordan yeah it's simple he just, that's all he said to do yeah but that simple act because see the thing is God's asked us to do the crazy and unorthodox and we were like yeah let's do it but then God's like okay you need to ask people for some money oh why can't you do something else we, we, besides... we want to see the big we want to see, <laughs> we the, see the miraculous, the miraculous. we yeah. want to see and then we realize later on wow this really is the miraculous it is yeah you know it really is having God set you up to be blessed if you obey him and so it's like this is the deal it's like in obeying the lord and going through because we really feel like this last seven weeks is like that seventh dip mm -hmm. you know and it's like in going through everything that god's asking you to do throwing your nets out doing whatever it is that god's asked you to do you will you will you will be able to take your eyes off of your situation because he will cleanse it he will heal it he will do whatever he's going to do in it he will fill the net up with fish or whatever it is he will demonstrate his faithfulness just as Lana Vosser has been prophesying about that as well he will demonstrate his miraculous faithfulness and it will be so amazing and so abundant and so blinding that you'll you will then see the Lord Mm -hmm. And your humility level will go from a measure to full-blown nuclear mushroom cloud of awe and amazement. Even the uh, nation of Israel coming out of Egypt saw a measure of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. But then when they came to the mountain and he just, woo, and he showed up and he ap appeared, it was like, whoa, there was yeah. the full-blown, like, awe that God was looking for although even then it wasn't really what God was wanting because they were afraid of him yeah instead of in love with him and in and passion with like wow that's the kind of reverence and fear and awe God's looking for like wow jaw dropping so jaw dropping you don't you you don't even know how to praise him yeah this is so amazing and see that's what God has in store but you gotta dip seven times boss you got to dip seven times. Mm -hmm. It can't be six times because that's one of the things the Lord showed me. He was like, a lot of times, Devin, people like you, I asked you to set up the PayPal. You really didn't like it, but you did it. There's a lot of people out there. They're out there. They're struggling because I've told them to do certain things like that or whatever. Hey, why don't you do this or set this up? And they didn't do it. They mm -hmm. didn't. It made them feel too uncomfortable. And they said, I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to ease myself away from it in my nice little Christian way. I'm going to wriggle my way out of this. And mm -hmm. they just simply flat out didn't obey me. And they struggled. And the Lord told me, he's like, if you don't set up this PayPal thing, you're going to struggle, buddy. And I was just like, oh, I really didn't want to do it. And it's been dealing with me periodically this whole time. Yeah. Like, we're talking about way before we came to Nashville. Mm -hmm. It's been dealing with me. But it's just like, since we've come here, it has literally been like our bread and butter. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, we're, we're, but it's like, we are dependent on God and God puts it on. We are amazed quite yeah. often at the level of support that we get. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's like, we've been here almost 11 months. Yeah. It's been amazing. It's like some some of the thing, some of the generosity of people and the, the the sacrificial giving of people is just amazing. And it's like we're not we're not we're not manipulating people. We're not coercing people. We're not giving you the compulsion and just oh, there's the prophetic word. Now sow into this word for it to come to pass. None of that stuff. Mm -hmm. We're just sitting here sharing our journey. It's almost like sit at the couch reality TV. <laughs> of course, you'd probably be probably be. Better if it was more vlog style, but you try that with all these children's. But anyway, <laughs> and no vehicle. And anyway, that's just not what God's called us to do right now. 
but it's just like, man, it's like, I just believe that there is a measure of humility that we're going in to what God's asked us to do in our obedience, but we're kind of going into it broken. We're kind of going into it with some hard parts of our heart. And God's like, I already know all of that. I already see all that. Are you going to come anyway? Are you going to obey me anyway? Yeah. And in doing so, you get that seventh dip and you will be healed. So we are looking forward to the healing and in the, the revealing, revealing. <laughs> where God is just going to blow our minds. And we really, we're just like, God, we will do whatever you want us to do whenever you want us to do it. Because a lot of times we don't understand, we don't make the connection of this little rinky-dink obedience thing over here that's connected to our entire destiny and how that's going to work. And if we don't do this thing, then the enemy's just going to light a wick and blow up our destiny later on, 10 years down the road. Yeah. You know, we got to walk in that, that humility. It is imperative, you know? Yeah. And so I think really this morning it was just this, I think for both of us just a just God coming in and really just breaking off the any pride that was left on on this place that honestly he's been working at and just working at and mm -hmm. working at and so that we could see it properly so we could see it as like wow this is this is our dipping in the Jordan. It really and, is. And so that it was came just, to me this morning too. I was like, this is what this is, yeah. isn't it? This is like this, this seventh phase of seven weeks. That's like our seventh dip, isn't yeah. it? And it's just like, well, we better be clean after this. No, I'm just <laughs> but it's just my little bit of attitude. I, I haven't, com I haven't completed the seventh dip guys. So <laughs> you better get back under. <laughs> Maybe I'll interrupt less. Uh, you're like you're like I'm not counting on it. That that might be another. <laughs> that might be a whole another miracle. That's a whole different, a whole different. Cycle. That's a whole different cleansing, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, oh, but it's too just funny. you know, and and so it's just <laughs> it was just for me it was really good this morning to to see that and to um, just kind of experience that and I was like wow Lord and I think what's really amazing is like when God is working on something a lot of times he goes over things over and over and over he again does. but eventually like w I feel like when the breaking comes a lot of times it's it's just that last little bit and it's just boom it's gone mm -hmm. and it, and um, at least for me and, and how God's worked in my life that's how a lot of it has come about it's been like a constant like continual God working on particular things and then once the the breakthrough happens it's it's more of just this final last little and it's and it's done you know but it's taking God a lot a lot of time I've, I've not had too many experiences where it was just this like breaking like let's just shatter this whole thing off it's more of like little bit by little bit by little bit by little bit so that's just how it's been working for me over these really like the last gosh long time long time yeah. <laughs> and so kind of on a slightly different note um but still in the same key yeah <laughs> of humility <laughs> was just that you know we got all this revelation this morning and I was just really very excited about it and I was just like I really want to share I want to actually do the asking to today because normally I just have Devin do it because I'm always just like I I just don't like this I don't like the asking I don't it just it makes me feel just not good inside it's like it reminds me of my brother you know when me and my brother was like you go ask no you you go ask yeah yeah you do basically it. You go, <laughs> it's you like go, they're gonna say no they're gonna be mad if we ask for that thing. we already asked for you go ask yeah you know very much like that and so and the I'm older just, brother's like go ask yeah <laughs> like, okay <laughs> but i'll just be like all right you'll you'll ask so so this Today, I was just like, all right, I really, like, I want to be the one to do it as just a way of kind of for me to just to break through. And, and the funny thing is you were a missionary in Croatia for a year. I it's know. Like, it's not it like just, support raising is weird for us. It isn't. You know? But at the same time, it's just a very different, it's, a very different place. It's definitely out of context of what, what you normally raise support for. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, 
And so I was just like, all right, I'm gonna do this. And, and you know, it was like, all right, we're good, we're awesome, you know, and I was just kind of processing through things, but we're ready I think to do this almost, video. Uh. Almost right away, <laughs> like, you know, I think really after God time, and even honestly during God time, because I can, I'll start to process things and I really just get internal in, in, in my processing and, I'm just starting to think about other areas and it's like, all right, well, gosh, man, I really need to have humility in this area and that area. But it started to come with it, this twist of, mm, of mm -hmm. really just kind of wanting to let go of things. And it kind of brought this like sadness of like, let go of your desires of your of heart, the, desire and of your the heart. promise of God. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and why it ended up that way, it's like, it doesn't really matter, but that's kind of the, the direction it started going. And, yeah. and so then, like, we ended up talking about that for a little bit of just like, you know what? No, it's not, you know, yes, you need to have humility. But, but even in that, it's like God saying like, okay, I'm addressing this particular issue and that's what I want, where I want you to have humility in. But you don't need to like start broad sweeping everything oh well that means because that's that whole you start relying on your own understanding what you think maybe that means because for me i took it oh well maybe that means for the promise it's going to be different it's going to look different we just need to really just accept however god gives it even though he's many 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 times over given us visions and, and things like that of not that we know the how but the spirit in which the things things are going to be done you mm -hmm. know and and just like it wasn't matching up with with what right. god had already spoken well because it's a lives. false idea of what humility is yeah. you know i'm a worm yeah and I, i'm just gonna lay myself down and whatever you have to and god's like okay you, you can pick yourself back up yeah oh well lord i'm gonna lay my desires down okay that's great here take it back please yeah Especially Quit when he's giving it asked to me. you I've to, already, yeah, exactly. to carry it. He's asked you to carry it. So if you're carrying it and then you lay it down, you laying it down is actually disobedience. Mm -hmm. But that's what we think. You know, we, we get so much about, oh, lay it down, lay it before the Lord, lay it down. But the scripture says there's a time to let go and then there's a time to embrace. Yeah. So if God's saying embrace, you, the best thing you can do is embrace it. And yeah. so many times God's saying, quit laying down the vision in your pious humility way. That's not humility. Humility equals obedience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I think that's kind of was something that God was bringing up. He's like, you know what? It's just when those things come up, just do what I've asked you to do. It's pretty simple. You know, like you don't have to. Try. Oh, when the false ideas yeah. come well, up. Well, false ideas, but even like the emotions. Don't don't try and go and figure out what you think might happen based off oh. of something that God was speaking. Yeah. And um, and so we got through that, but then it was just like I felt like the enemy. I think was just starting to come in, and it was just like it was intense. One thing after another, <laughs> and inside emotionally, and just like. I don't know. It just it just kept getting worse and worse and worse, mm -hmm. and um, and then you know a lot of times when the enemy works, he likes to work to get in between us and mm -hmm. and have just like why are we butting heads? Kind of like a Babylon confusion of language. Yeah, it's type like thing. we don't normally butt heads. Yeah. but it was just like, man, this is just so frustrating and it's like ooh, okay well i've got you and you know we talk about triggers it's like okay well michelle you're in your trigger spot so <laughs> and and then of course i mean there's just it's like this dance routine it's like oh my gosh we've been down here so many times like i'm tired you know i'm tired of the things going in a particular you know it's like you start responding way. the same way you always mm -hmm. respond you don't really want inside you're like i don't even want to respond like this but i'm constantly responding like this and so <laughs> it's just super frustrating and it doesn't matter what comes out of my mouth it's pretty much i know for certain no matter how much i want it to come out differently it's just going to come out the same way it always does because apparently i don't know how to change and so it's just like it and was that's just not true kind of this like <laughs> super frustrating time 
and yeah. and again it was just like our you know it's like man just getting hit by the enemy because we hadn't done the video yet and that was like part of the frustration is like we wanted to get it done sooner he had started to fall asleep but then ended up waking up like five minutes later and it was just like great now we can't do the video it's not going to happen till way late tonight and if that if he doesn't go to sleep till way late tonight that means it's going to be up super late in the night i already don't get enough sleep and you know so there was just, just a lot there's just there so much you know like on. that's really how things start compounding yeah and and you feel like oh my gosh this is just and so ridiculous what was the whole point there why did the enemy come he came to prevent you from doing the video. Yeah. He wanted, he did not want this video done. Why? Not because, oh, well, I'm going to try to prevent you guys from getting help from your subscribers or whatever, because we do need the help badly. But it's just like, he wanted, because you were on the precipice of a heart breakthrough. Mm -hmm. See, God is about the heart. He's not about anything else. He's about the heart. But the, so is the enemy. He's like, oh man, I can see she's a, and it, and if and if she does, she's gonna get the breakthrough. So I need to stop her. Yeah. I need to prevent. I need to set off as many triggers as I possibly can to get her all messed up and emotional or whatever. Just we just need to not have this breakthrough that she's gonna do happen. And the breakthrough is you doing the video. Yeah. You know. So the enemy he does that. He comes against us. We get excited about a word. We get excited about what we're going to do. We get excited about the direction we feel like God's going to take us in and all that. And then here comes the enemy to try to side, uh, side swipe it or derail it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like. And, and honestly, I think, you know, you can even look at it the way kind of like with the, the seeds, the parable of the seeds and the sower, how he's just like scattering his seed but some of it gets taken away from the by the birds and then some gets planted but it's in rocky soil and so it just quickly dies out and then there's some that gets planted it starts growing but it gets choked out mm -hmm. but then there's this this stuff that actually remains mm -hmm. and i think a lot of times when we get a word from the lord mm -hmm. he's he really is it's like he's scattering the seeds into our hearts but the enemy wants to come in and so he's going to try and snatch it up or it's like oh it sits there but but maybe he's able to get it to be kind of rocky for you where it's like eh, okay maybe that wasn't the word and you just go ahead and and just give it up or eventually maybe it is like it's planted in there but he's like i'm gonna somehow try and choke this out of you this word from the lord out of you but it's that like that was definitely what was happening today yeah and, and it's like let's choke it's it out like <clears throat> no like this is going to remain because, you know, our hearts, they are good soil, that good soil that God's like, hey, it's going to sprout. But the enemy is going to come in and he wants to try and take, take it away however he can. So, like, when we started this video, <laughs> you were just full of faith and positive emotions, weren't you? No, not quite. Yeah. How many times did we start this video? I think like, there was like, like at four. least three or four. <laughs> Because it was just like the first take. Okay, that's not gonna work. You know, you were like you were like I just I was like, do you want to do this? Is your heart in this? And the whole time, it's funny because behind the scenes, the whole time the Lord was like, D let her go. Just let her do her thing, man. Just leave her alone. You know, let her. You know. And I'm just like, okay, we'll see. I mean, we'll see what she's gonna do because it's her breakthrough. You know yeah. what I mean? It's your breakthrough. You know. Yeah. <laughs> No one can help you get a breakthrough in your relationship with God except for you. You know what I mean? You have to do it. People can help and kind of get you. It's like those Gatorade stations. Mm -hmm. They can be there for you to help you to hand you some Gatorade or something. But it doesn't help you. You have but to run. You're the one running the race. Yeah. And a lot of times, you know, there's been times where the enemy's attacking Michelle <laughs> and personally. And I'm like... So where's my, you're supposed to come with the wheelbarrow and put me in and keep going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're like, why don't you just come alongside of me and pray and rebuke if it's the enemy? And it's like, well, because the Lord told me not to do that. <laughs> and he's like, you got to do this. You got to, because that's how, a lot of times how people, God teaches people to fight and everything. But it was just like, it was just cool because I think here we are. We're, we're here. We're doing it. We're dipping ourselves mm -hmm. and we're saying, nope, enemy, you do not win. We're going to do what God has asked us to do. And we're going to keep doing it tomorrow and the next day and the next day. 
okay? I don't care what the rest of this seventh cycle of seven weeks think. I don't really care if it gets harder or whatever. That's fine. We're going to keep, God's going to keep being there in the midst of our mm -hmm. trouble. God's going to keep telling us and giving us strategy on what to do in the situation. And the enemy's not going to tear us apart. He's going to keep, we're going to keep going because God is the one holding us together. So I think that's really all that we have to share with you guys today. That's, that's enough for today. And right? I just, you know, I just pray that you guys are encouraged um, in that, you know, whatever God has asked you to do, if there's any area that, that it's like, man, I thought, Lord, you would work differently. Um, but maybe he's, he's, he's not doing what you thought he would do, but things are still happening. Um, you know, I think, for example... I was thinking about this today. Sometimes I think with healing, it's quite possible that God's just like, you know what, you are going to have to go and, you know, maybe you have to get hip surgery or you have to, mm. you know, and you've been praying for the miracle of God to come. But the miracle of God doesn't happen, but it actually did because it was through something else. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes God works that way. And, but we might, we might see it as, man, maybe I was lacking faith. Maybe... Maybe, you know, God just, he just didn't want to heal me. And, you know, we can be, it can become a negative thing when really God's just like, no, like I'm working in a particular way for a particular reason. Um, and, and, but in how he works, it could be just this amazing way that you go, wow, Lord, I, I wouldn't have done it any other way. Yeah. You know, because it, it can produce, like, like we say, God is always looking at the heart. And mm -hmm. so he knows what is needed in every person's life mm -hmm. and what is best for their heart. And, um, and, and so it's like, yes, we, you know, however God is working in your life to, to just embrace it and just to be humble before him and say, thank you, Lord. Yes, mm -hmm. I will do what you've asked me to do. Even, even if it's, you know, I think a lot of times it can also be, you know, well, Lord, I want this prestigious thing why I, I would like to have be be a lot of us or I want to be a Billy Graham or I want this and, and God's like well, I just I want you to go and share with your neighbor why don't you just be a wife and a husband or or I just <laughs> your your children those yeah. are the, who I want you to sow into and we might be like oh, but Lord shouldn't shouldn't I be doing more shouldn't it be better you know and it's like you know what you could be sowing into your children and you might have four you know whoever's that are great but mm -hmm. the only way that they're going to get there is because you take the time to sow into them because they had you yeah right and so it's like you never you just you just have to say embrace the fact that god is god and mm -hmm. he his ways are far greater than our ways and what he's doing in our life is good and it's on purpose and he is following he is following a plan to make us individually more and more like Christ mm -hmm. and however that works and looks like is going to be different for every single person but we need to embrace and say you know what Lord if you want me to go into the dirty Jordan River to be clean Shoot that's where I'm going to go and so um, can that's I say just, something yeah. else but I feel like the Lord is saying like that is true so I'm tagging along with what you're saying um, but I just feel like it's from the Lord I, don't, I can't put my name in it but I just feel like the Lord's saying, hey, there is going to be a miracle. Yes. It's like you are going to cast your nets on the side like I asked, and there will be a great haul. You're going to go and dip in the Jordan seven times, and there will be a yes. healing. Yes. You are coming to me, and you're asking me for these things and to be cleansed of, of your financial leprosy, and I am willing. Mm -hmm. So it's like whatever it is you're asking God for, whatever it is, he, he is willing to do it. Yeah. I mean, we got to go through some stuff, obviously, a lot of times. And maybe God's asking us to do a crazy thing. But also, maybe God's asking you to do a really simple thing that you don't want to do. <laughs> but as you obey the Lord, there is going to be a... I just feel the Lord saying, there is going to be a miraculous display. And don't take your eyes off of that. Yeah. Don't take your eyes off the promise. Don't take your eyes off the desire of your heart that you're looking for God to have fulfilled. Don't, because he has already said yes a long time ago. And now he's taking you through the process where that answer to that prayer will be such, it will just be a great 
reward of the faithfulness that you've shown him and now he's showing it to you in this reward like fashion mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because you've gone through it's like okay i do want to do that for you now let's go through this character building <laughs> fire and water of the desert and all that mm -hmm. and then at the end you're going to get way more you're going to get way more than you're actually asking for yeah you know kind of like solomon well god give me wisdom wow since you're asking for wisdom i'm going to give you riches as well i'm going to give you what you even didn't even ask mm -hmm. me for so it's like god is a rewarder of those who diligently yes. seek him yes. and i just feel the lord saying that like don't take your your eyes off the promise don't take your eyes off the the miraculous demonstration that 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 i have put in your heart to believe for yes you know because if you continue to believe that lazarus of your life is going to come out mm -hmm. it's going to be raised from the dead it's like there is going to be a miraculous display there is going to be a great and abundant reward for your yes. obedience yes that's just going to happen and god's like continue to believe that mm -hmm. amen i'm done <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, I think that's really about it. Mm -hmm. um, Do you mean it this time? I think so. You did a Devin on that one. That's it, guys. And another and thing. another thing. <laughs> no. Although you are doing that more often. Oh, I know. I've learned. I am I've so learned proud. from the best. I'm so proud. <laughs> you need to start working on that interrupting, though. I'll try. Keep. You need to keep working it. <laughs> keep working that muscle. <laughs> So, um, oh, until next time, guys, uh, we so appreciate you. And again, if you would like to support us, um, that would PayPal be link super amazing down be below. Super amazing. And um, until but also, you know what? I just want to say this also. You see, I'm working that muscle. If you can't give, don't feel guilty. Don't feel don't. shame. Don't feel bummed out no. like you. Oh, they're they're blessing my life so much. It's God that's blessing your life. Because yes. let me tell you something. If God. We're in your life for a reason. It's because yeah. God brought us in. And he's doing something through what we're saying. And what we're saying is not of our own accord. Like Jesus no. says, we're just sharing our lives and sharing what God's doing in our lives. And it's blessing you. That's great. I wish I could give, but I can't. I've been in that situation a million times. Yeah. You know, so don't feel bad, you know. Yeah. But we're just saying for those who can and they understand us. And we know we're going to have to put up with the, the naysayers. But it's like, we just, we're in that position now where it's like, again, we just have to ask. And that's what God's called us to do. So we're asking. <laughs> so think, um, think wondrously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, until next time, we so appreciate all of you. Yeah. And we will see you again soon. You guys are awesome. Soon. Bye. Bye. Work on that interruptus, girl. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs>